Hi all. So this is a copy of my presentation I delivered to BNI chapter um, last week and I thought it'll be good for you to have a copy of this as well. Just uh, have a look at it. Give me some feedbacks. What do you think about it? If it is good, please share and like and subscribe to the channel as well. Of course, the typical YouTube um, bit. But then at the same time, if you don't like it, please drop me a comment, a text message or something. to Tell me whether you like it or what parts you would have done better than me. And I would love to incorporate them in my next videos. I really appreciate your support. So let me share the screen and let's get on with the video. So here we are. Have you grown out of your accounting software is the topic of the day. Let me just quickly tell you about target integration as well. We were established in 2008 in Dublin with a mission that every business should be able to leverage the full power of their business insights. Reports, numbers that you can use to make a decision about your future, the future of your company. At this stage, we have offices in, of course, Dublin, but then two offices in UK, one in Birmingham, one in Hemel Hempstead. There are three offices, fourth one coming pretty soon in India, and another new office in San Francisco as well. We have a development center in Greece, providing a perfect mix of quality and value to you. What do we do? We provide customer and stock management systems in cloud, simple. But these are business automation applications which work. We make sure that every application which comes in, whether it is customer management, stock management, whether it is a point of sale system integrated throughout multiple stores, it's working for you. It's bringing the value into your business. And we deliver these through our partners. We always say that we are unique in the sense that we have a number of partners, we work through them. We look at your side, what requirements do you have in the business? What does your business need? And accordingly, we make changes and bring in a particular tool to solve the problem. I always say that problem is important because we need to fix it. Tool is not because yes, if we can fix a problem with a different tool, we should always look at options and compare and contrast which one is correct for you. So what is an accounting software? A lot of my colleagues would say it's bookkeeping, it's accounting, it's a record keeping software. My thought on the other hand is it's a compass. It's a compass which tells you where to go and what to do for the future of your business. How do you invest? Where should you invest? What businesses, what sides of businesses are working? What parts of products or what types of products are selling well? Which geographies are doing very well? Which stores are doing very well and which ones aren't doing very well? That should all be incorporated in your accounting software. But it doesn't, does it? If it doesn't, yes, that's the first sign, but that's probably the symptom at this stage. And uh, let's see some of the signs which tell you whether you have grown out of your accounting software or not. Do you have correct and timely reports? Of course, reports are also results as well. And you always say if you did not enter the data correctly, if the data wasn't correctly typed in or synchronized in from another software, the reports will always be incorrect. They may not be timely. That means somebody is not putting the data on time and you're not able to run the reports on time. Or they take a lot of, lot of time to run. So you go to the manager, or you go to the finance team and say, you know what, guys, please run a report on this for me. And they say, I'll come back to you in a week's time. There is a problem somewhere, right? That means definitely you've grown out of your accounting software. Okay, let's look at another one. Are you entering data multiple times in multiple systems? And this relates back to the first point. If operations team or finance team is busy entering data from one software to the other, they will have difficulty in running these reports for you. They don't have time. The data entry is slow. The data entry takes up all of their operational time. They're all of their valuable time. And of course, another big reason for the reports to be slow that means another big reason that you have grown out of your accounting software, right? So that's another symptom, that's another sign that you can see in your business. Say, we have probably grown out of our accounting software, we should relook at it. Do you get outdated information? Do you think that you know the data that you have right now is probably a month old, two months old? They are not up to date, probably the accountants aren't entering it in time, but if there was automation, if they were, or if all the parts of the business were integrated together, so as soon as purchasing, purchase something that impacts your forecast because you'll have to pay that bill 
in a month, 30 days, 90 days time, based on your credit terms? Yeah, hey, that's what I'm talking about. If you depend more on automation, it does not mean that you, you know, let go of people. It's just their inputs are more valuable. As soon as they create a new purchase order, that impacts your bottom line immediately or at least gives you a forecast that it will be due, that invoice will be due in X months, X days amount of time. Now, is your website integrated with your accounting software? And I can go on to say, what about all the other sales channels, websites, point of sale system, your sales order system, your quotation system, are they all integrated with your accounting software? If they are not, you need to really look at your accounting software. You need to probably relook at your uh, other software that you're using in the business as well. But start from the accounting software. Pick one which is integratable with other systems. Pick one which probably has all the add-ons available for you to integrate right from day one. And of course, last but not the least, subscription management. That is new in the market at the moment. And of course, quite a lot of businesses go, how can I bring in subscription in my business? I know a company uh, and they work very well and they provide a subscription of providing fruit to the business. Can you come up with an idea to bring in a subscription? Can you manage that subscription and automate it in your accounting software? If you cannot, and if you're already running a subscription-based business, if you already have a subscription-based model, then in that case, are you manually creating those invoices? Whether these subscriptions are quarterly, monthly, or annual, it doesn't matter. And if they are annual, there is a bigger danger of forgetting them or not updating them in time or updating them with wrong price. That's where, yes, an accounting software with integrated subscription management becomes very important. So just some of my points, of course, there are thousands of others as well, but these five make sense to me. And if you have any questions, we would love to answer those for you. Software should work for you and not the other way around. That's the theory I would say you should follow and it should work. With. Now, what options are out there? You must be asking. You've given me the problems, but what do I go for? These are just four. There are loads of others. And yes, we would love to kind of answer more queries on which software, why did we include these software? But my reason of including these was primarily because they have most of the add-ons available. They have most of the integrations available. Disclaimer, we are partners with most of them as well, but I, we are partners with some others, which I haven't mentioned. These accounting software out of the box have integrations and they resolve all the five problems I mentioned earlier. And that's the reason I mentioned them here. Zoho Books has a subscription management tool as well, has a very good accounting software integrated into HMRC, integrated uh, into some of your bank accounts as well. So does Odoo. At the same time, it's a full ERP system, which means that it has operations management, stock management, warehouse management, manufacturing management, procurement built into the system. And SAP Business One, Dynamics 365, very established, very strong tools. And these tools actually, again, have all the integrations possible to be a very powerful accounting software and integrate other systems with it, with um, the system itself so that they can deliver correct quality reports for you. So that's effectively my summary. Where to go from here, review your needs, Look at the cloud applications, keep your budget in mind, pay attention to add-ons and integration features which are possible and make the decision with the help of your accountant or your IT provider. That's it. Easy enough, isn't it? Give me a shout, give us a shout, drop us an email. We would love to hear back from you. And if you have any questions, throw them in the comments below. We would love to answer them for you as well. Thank you and goodbye.